Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. So apparently, my man Kayvon has an MCL injury. And the recovery time is three to four weeks. Now, the regular season starts in two weeks. Okay, no, three weeks. Yeah, we got this week. Then we got next week. And then I think we play September 11th. So it's three weeks to the regular season starts, right? So realistically speaking, Kayvon should be able to play week one. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to see him until like week three or four. Why? Why rush him back? Why? He's a rookie, okay? He's got his whole career ahead of him. Why rush him back and him re-injure it, or even worse, tear an ACL, and then that sets his whole career back by two years? Because remember, it's always the year after you come back from a torn ACL or an Achilles injury that you get shit popping again. It's never the year you come back. It's the following year. So if Kayvon was to tear an ACL, God forbid, he wouldn't be good till like 2024, okay, because he's going to miss all of 2022. 2023, he got to get his groove back and all this other shit. And then in 2024 is when he's going to be the guy we drafted him to be. So why rush? It doesn't matter. I'm not saying Kayvon doesn't matter, but I mean, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to, in life, you got to think three steps ahead. Okay, y'all heard me discuss this plenty of times before. In life, you have to think three steps ahead. What's most important is the longevity and durability of Kayvon going forward. Week one versus Titans ain't that damn serious. If we need Kayvon Thibodeau to beat the Titans, we're in a hell of a lot more trouble than I think we are. We shouldn't need Thibodeau to beat the, the Titans. The Titan, we are a better football team than Titans, period. Okay, we got Daniel Jones. They have Ryan Tannehill. They don't even got Ryan Tannehill. He's some shit. They got Derrick Henry. That's it. They have no wide receivers. I just spoke about tearing the ACL. It takes two years, basically, to get back to being normal. Their number one receiver, Robert Woods, tore ACL last year. He's probably going to be washed this year anyway. They don't have a receiver. Traylon Burks has asthma and can't run routes without taking deep breaths like he a fat nigga or something like that. We have no business losing to Tennessee. None. We should not need Kayvon to beat Tennessee. So under no circumstances should Kayvon be rushing his way back to play versus Titans. It just shouldn't happen. If the doctor says three to four weeks, we should sit him down to five to six. There's no rush. Make sure he's completely healthy. Make sure there's no possible way he could re-aggravate that injury and then bring him back. Bottom line. At least that's my take on it. Now, I'm, I'm already going to let you know that's not that's that's not what's going to happen. Kayvon's going to want to play. He's going to be begging the coaching staff to play week one. Dable and all these other coaches, Wink Martindale, they're going to want him out there week one. Because in football, it's not like basketball. In basketball and baseball, they give a damn about their players. They give a damn. In the NFL, they don't give a shit about these players. They never have and they never will. In the NFL, it's all about hurry up and get healthy or play through pain. You know what I'm saying? It's never about what's best for the athlete. In the NBA, they will sit you out a week or two longer than you should just to be on the safe side. In baseball, they'll do the same thing. But in football, oh, oh, you could come back a week early? Oh, that's great. Could you imagine a Kawhi Leonard coming back a week early? Could you picture that? Could you picture uh, uh, Kevin Durant coming back early? KD could have played in a bubble, and they held him out anyway. That's the difference. That's the fucking difference. So as much as I want Kayvon Thibodeau to sit for an extended period of time, you know, maybe not come back to week three, two, two or three, he's going to play week one versus Titans. More than likely, Kayvon's going to play week one versus Titans, and all we can do is pray this kid can stay durable for a 17-week season. That's all we can do. So, like I told y'all yesterday, him laughing on the sideline means dick to me. It means dick to me because I watched Kobe Bryant hit two free throws on a torn Achilles. I mean, just because Kayvon's walking on his, uh, walking and, and, and laughing doesn't mean he wasn't hurt. I said, we got to wait till tomorrow 
We got to see what the MRI says before we count our chickens. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Plain and simple. I watched Philip Rivers play a, a beat Peyton Manning on a torn ACL. Almost beat Tom Brady in 07 on a torn ACL. They was, the offensive line was carrying him up and down the field. So this whole notion that Kayvon is perfectly fine because he's laughing on the sideline and walking on his own, that means nothing. Odell played the whole fucking season with the Rams with no ACL. According to Odell, he didn't even have a damn ACL. He played the whole damn season. So, you know, I'm just happy he's okay. It's only an MCL. His ACL is intact. Thank God. Okay. God wasn't so merciful on Beavers. Okay. He's going to be out the whole year. He did tear his ACL. So, our promising inside linebacker he's out so i mean that sucks um that sucks yeah i mean i don't know <laughs> you know that sucks i mean i don't want to big up a rookie too much because we don't know what he can and can't do in a real game but at the same time i mean look he was looking good man he was a, he's a, he's been look he's been hyped up by wink martindale all camp He's made plays on the field during the preseason. I mean, it's something that you don't want to see. I feel bad for the kid. He's a rookie. With, especially with Blake Martinez being here, he could have learned from one of the better middle linebackers in the league and then take his spot next season. Because I don't think we're going to bring Blake back after next season. So, you know, that could have been his spot. So, we'll see how it is going forward. Like I said, fellas, when you tear an ACL or you – hurt your Achilles or something. It's a two year injury. It's not a situation where, oh my gosh, he'll be back in five, six months. No. <clears throat> even when my man Cam Akers, right? Even when Cam Akers comes back to the Rams last year, he looked like shit. Cam Akers did not look good in that playoff run last year. Cam Akers looked horrible in that playoff run last year. Because that was his first time playing football off the injury. It's always the second season you come back. So we probably not going to get the best of Beavers till 2024. You know, that's just how it is. I'm sure he'll come back strong next year. But we won't get the best of him probably till 2024. And, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame. So I'll talk about baby Victor Cruz, baby Cooper Cup. I'll talk about... The boy uh, Alex, what is it, Alec Blankman, Blanchman, whatever the fuck. I'll talk about him um, maybe tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to speak on him and Colin Johnson and everything. But at least we at least we didn't lose Kayvon for the year. All right, at least we didn't lose, at least, at least we did not lose Kayvon for the year. That was a cheap shot. I don't want to relitigate it, but it was a cheap shot, and I'm happy that's not how Kayvon goes out. I'm happy he ain't going out like that. So, <sighs> thank God. <laughs> thank God. That's all I can say. Just thank God. But um, that's it. That's all, man. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.